Here we have some right angle triangles. Right angle triangles usually mean we're either dealing with Pythagoras or trigonometry in the form of Sokatoa. So we'll label this triangle. We've got O, A, and H. H doesn't feature because we don't have that length, and we're trying to find angle X here. So we've got O and A, which means we're dealing with tan. And when you're finding an angle, you use the inverse function, so inverse tan, and it's O divided by A. So if we draw the tan triangle, we can see why it's T O A. So we're finding the angle, so we do O divided by A, and it's 5 divided by 12.5. And you type that on a calculator, you'll get 21.8 degrees. For this next one, you label it again. We've got O here, H here, and A down here. And we're finding QR, which is the bottom one down here. So that's our X. So we're finding A, so we don't need this O here at all. So it's A and H, in which case we're dealing with cos. So we're right, let's draw the cos triangle. So we've got C, A, and H. And we're trying to find A. So if we cover up A here, we're left with cos times H. So we need to do cos of 43 and multiply that by the hypotenuse 5.8. You must make sure you put these brackets on here. And if you type that into a calculator, you'll get 4.24 when you round it to three significant figures like the question asks us to do.